The fifth group covers the set of problems that P is unknown parameter A, I, and N are given variables. In these problems, we have uniform series of equal investments A in the end of each time period for N number of periods at the compound interest rate of I. And the problem asks you to calculate the accumulated present value of all investments P. We can summarize these questions using the factor notation. P is the unknown variable and should be on the left side. And A is a given and should be written on the right side. As explained before, equation 1, 3 returns the future value f from a, i, and n. And equation 1, 2 calculates the future value f from present value p interest rate i and n number of periods. So if we substitute f in equation 1, 3 from equation 1, 2, we will have this new equation. 1 5 this equation gives us the accumulated present value of equal series payments a paid for n period at pre at interest rate of i equation 1 5 can also be written according to factor notation p equals a times the factor p over a this factor is called uniform series present word factor which is used to calculate the present sum P that is equivalent to a uniform series of equal payments end of the period payments A. For example, what would be the present value of 10 uniform investments of $2,000 invested at the end of each year for interest rate of 12% compounded annually? First, uh, we draw the timeline. Left hand side is the present time, uh, time zero payment, which needs to be calculated. N equals 10 because there are 10 uniform investments, so we have 10 years. And above each year, we have $2,000 starting from year 1 to year 10. So A equals $2,000, N is 10, and interest rate is 12%. Using the factor notation, P equals A, multiply the factor. I is 12%, and N is 10, and the result. So if you save $2,000 per year at the end of each year for 10 years, starting from year 1 to year 10, the accumulated money is equivalent to $11,300 at present time. It has the same value as $11,300 at the present time. 